All right, here we go with today's video. Today, we're doing a suggested video by, once again, by Carter Polak asking me to do a non-bubble team. So I'm assuming that just means we have to do a team, a random team, and just trade for players that aren't a part of the bubble, such as Steph Curry and stuff like that. So we're gonna get a random team. So straight off the bat, we need to, you know, get ourselves a team, lads, and we get the Washington Wizards. That could be good. We could get a good pick. I mean, we get the 14th pick. Is there a good player here that's not in the bubble? Clay Thompson isn't that bad. I mean, we could go Clay. Or the next best is then Collins Capella. Okay, yeah, we'll probably have to go bloody uh, Clay here then. But it's a random team. We can't really control this. We're going to get a random one coming towards us. Uh, so yeah, we'll just simulate draft. I'll see you guys with our roster. Before we get too far into the video though, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that red button. It does help show your support. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers. So if you can go down there, hit that red button. What do I mean if you can? You guys can. You've got the time right now. Go down there, click that red button. It will mean a lot. Thank you. And also, if you have, be sure to like the video. That helps out a lot. Um, so our best player is Joel Embiid. So we're going to have to trade to jo Joel, Tobias, Van Vliet. Davis Burton's, Maxi Kleber, Jeremy Lamb. He plays for the Pacers now, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. I actually had to Google it just to make sure. Yeah, he uh, he does play for the Pacers now. Patrick Beverly. So, at the moment, Bismarck Biombo. We can keep Bismarck Biombo. Frank Kaminsky plays for the Suns now, doesn't he? No, he still plays for the Hornets. No, he plays for the Suns. Hornets. Suns. I think he still plays for the Hornets. So we have to. We can keep uh, Frank Kaminsky. KCP. Yeah, we've got a lot of players. Almost our entire team has to get traded. So right off the bat, we're going to be moving players' positions so that their values are the best we can possibly get. So, um, I think the best player that we can possibly get that's not in the bubble right now is Stephen Curry. Uh, thinking about it, it's probably Steph and, you know, it's Steph Curry, so he's listed as untou untouchable at the moment. So what we're going to have to try and do is pick up as many valuable assets as possible. And I'm thinking either this LaMarcus deal or... This um, Hassan Whiteside deal. Just to make it fair, because both of these, well, technically Lamarcus Aldridge isn't in the bubble. His team is, uh, but Lamarcus Aldridge isn't. So if we go to say PJ McConnell's in there, Marcus Sol's in there, Spellman's in there, Iggy's in there, Daniel House is in there, Carl Anderson's in there, Sean Livingston is retired, DJ Wilson's in there. So almost everyone here is in the bubble. Okay, would you guys be mad at me if I did this? I think you would be. I think you would be. God damn. Technically, Miritich isn't in the bubble, so we'll go Nikola Mir Miritich, and we'll give you Davis Burton's in return, and will you guys want to do this for me? KCP and a second, plus I also get TJ McConnell. Cheers. All right, there we go. We got LaMarcus Aldrich and Karis Levert here, so then we can go Karis and Kaminsky, and I'm pretty sure we can get ourselves someone decent, such as Mitchell Robinson. There we go. Mitchell Robinson is definitely not in the bubble. He's from the, he's, he plays for the Knicks, man. He's definitely not in the bubble. Uh, so now, if we go across where is Steph Curry here we're gonna go Steph we're gonna chuck in Embiid, LaMarcus, Mitchell Robinson, Tobias and also where is he ah uh, damn okay never mind we don't have him anymore I was about to chuck in Levert but we don't have Levert so that would require 47 mil give us Gallinari 9 million and uh, chuck in Mason Plumley there too and surely if we chuck in a couple of firsts here yeah, no, we're not going to be getting Steph Curry here, boys. <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns, on the other hand, is someone that we could go for then. Uh, if we just chuck in, like, a couple of firsts, surely this would go through here, surely. Like, it's Embiid for Carl Anthony Towns. It's a straight swap. Probably, like, one of the best centers. They're both great centers. They're top... Both of them top three centers in the league. Uh, but surely, come on, come on. I'm pretty sure this trade will go straight through. Really? For Clay Thompson? Come on. Seriously. Why does no one want to trade for Joel Embiid? Like, Clay Thompson for Joel Embiid, bruv. Surely this is going to go through. Surely this has got to, man. There we go. It took so much to get Clay Thompson. Like, we had to give up Embiid, LaMarcus, and two firsts just for Clay Thompson. He's the best player that we can actually have. Mitchell Robinson, on the other hand, is actually someone we could probably keep, you know? We could actually probably keep Mitchell Robinson. Tobias and Bismack, let's see what we can get here. Drummond, 
is not in the bubble. We can go Andre Drummond. Could we do that without giving up Bismack Biombo then? I'll give you Maxi Kleber instead. Thank you. We can do that still. Oy, we can go John Collins. Uh, I'm going to go Andre Drummond though because Drummond's nice. He's a 2K loves on Andre Drummond. So sure, we'll go Andre Drummond. And Mitchell Robinson. If we just offer him, could we possibly get John Collins? Yes, we can. Plus a second. How about it? That, that's good. We've got our, we're getting our, we're getting ourselves a team. That's a rotation. We need a point guard, uh, but we've got ourselves a shooting guard, power forward, and center. We need a small forward and a point guard. I was hoping we could get Steph, but you know, and that's not happening. And uh, or Carl Anthony Towns, but we got Drummond. Drummond's all right. Jeremy Lamb. As our small forward, we need to trade Jeremy Lamb, and we need ourselves a better starting point guard. So I'm thinking the best available point guard that we can actually get is Derek Rose or D'Angelo Russell. I'm thinking probably D'Lo. If we could get D'Lo, that would be amazing, but I don't think we have the assets to do it. If we can get someone, instead of Joe Harris, can we get someone that isn't in the bubble here? Uh, Taj Gibson plays for the Knicks. He's not in the bubble. Can we do this trade? They want Terrence Jones. Plus, we also get Joe Harris still, so sure. Sure, that works for me, because then we got Gallinari, who we can use as trade value, and with Nico Miritic. Could we get D'Angelo Russell, please? I don't think 2K will bring it up bring it up by itself i think we're gonna have to trade for him we can get derrick rose straight away but uh yeah no 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 d'angelo russell so we're gonna have to trade for him ourselves if we chuck in nico miritich and say a couple of first round picks surely you guys will do that for d'angelo russell thank you we've got ourselves a point guard we now need to find ourselves a small forward uh with uh that could probably be available so let's have a look andrew wiggins is the best available small forward that we can actually get uh because everyone else is in the bubble so andrew wiggins can we make a trade for you man but i don't think so because we don't have any contracts to match it up oh no we've got marvin williams and we've got bobby portis you yeah, know we've got contracts to match it up fam well that was a lot easier than i thought it would be <laughs> we just traded bobby portis taj gibson and bryn forbes for andrew wiggins like we just got ourselves our starting five there's our starting five lads <laughs> So players such as Joe Harris and Marvin Williams, Shaquille Harrison, uh, they've all got to go. Uh, we need to get ourselves a bench that isn't playing in the bubble. So Joe Harris, Kevin Porter Jr. is all right because you know he's playing. He's for the place for the Cavs. We can't get. We can't. We can use him. Taj Gibson, we can get back. Uh, that's got to be handy because he can be our backup power forward for the rebuild. And then uh, we could go Mayers, Leonard, and Carson Edwards. We need a point guard if possible. A pretty bad point guard if one's available. But no, Isaiah Thomas. He's not in the bubble, man. Yeah, Isaiah Thomas isn't in the bubble. We'll bring him as our backup point. And now what do we need for our bench? We need ourselves a big man. We need a big man bad. The best available one is Luke Kerno, and he's playing for the New York Knicks. Thank you, Luke Kerno, for coming uh, to this team to be traded. Willie Hernan Gomez. If we can trade for Willie Hernan Gomez, I'll be pretty dang happy. I'd be pretty dang happy if we could trade for Willie. Yeah. But, uh, okay, yeah, we're going to have to sign some people real quick. There we go. That was real easy to get Willie Hernan Gomez. We literally gave Luke up Luke Kerno and Joachim Noah. We did just sign Joachim from the uh, free agency pool, so... Sorry if that's cheating, but uh, we, we traded him away straight away. So we're going to be probably running a six, uh, six man, a nine man rotation here. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to be playing anyone from out who's playing in the bubble right now because all these guys basically are in the bubble. So we've got Kevin Porter Jr. and uh, all that coming off of our bench. Uh, we'll go run through it properly right now. D'Angelo Russell, Clay Thompson, Andrew Wiggins, John Collins, and Andre Drummond is our starting five. We then have Taj Gibson, Isaiah Thomas, Willie Hernan Gomez, and Kevin Porter. Porter Jr. coming off our bench. We've got Clay Thompson, D'Lo, and John Collins as scoring options. We got a four and a half star system with seven seconds, so we managed to put together something very, very good there. And we're the projected 14th seed in the league, so let's simulate it. Let's see what happens. So we do manage to get Clay Thompson as an NBA All Star. We would have had Steph Curry, but we can't trade for Steph. What about Cat? Is Cat? Yeah, Kyle's also there, so yeah, that stinks. James Harden. 
on the Golden State Warriors, one MVP. I mean, it's James Harden on the Golden State Warriors being coached by Steve Kerr, so... Yeah, why not? We also went 64 and 18, so let's go. Big ups, my team. Ja Morant, Rookie of the Year. Ricky Rubio, sixth man. Kawhi defensive. Most improved goes to Luka Doncic. And Scotty Brooks, Coach of the Year. That's us. That's us. Let's go. Let's go. I don't expect any All-NBA teams, though. And yeah, we do finish as the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty dang good. Our leading scorer, of course, was Clay Thompson putting up 27, 3, and 5. My God, man. My God, man. D'Angelo Russell, 22, 2, and 10. John Collins, 16, 9, and 1. Andrew Wiggins, 14, 3, and 4. Drummond, 13, 14, and 1. Holy moly. We put together a pretty dang good team. We were the best offensive team, we were the best defensive team, and we were the best differential team. So let's simulate round by round. Let's see what happens, lads. Let's see what goes on. We're up 3 1, and we. Go to the second round. How about it? How about it? By the way, I've got an entire video wearing a Christmas jumper. So let's go. I want to change it up a little bit. Show you guys that, you know, I am playing these games on different... I'm recording on different days. So we're going up against the Celtics team that has Pascal and DeMar and Steven Adams. And Lou Will. Huh. This could be difficult. Who am I kidding? It's going to... Oh, no. I spoke... Okay, never mind. We won in six games. We're taking on the Pacers who have a LaMarcus Aldridge and Joel Embiid and Montres Harrell. Okay, this is the team that we took Clay Thompson from. Let's simulate the round straight away and let's see who had the better end of the deal. Apparently, it's going to be us. And we're through to the NBA Finals, taking on the second seed of Mavericks, who have uh, Bam Adebayo and Mitchell Robinson and Tristan Thompson. Okay, I, I, okay. And then Spencer Dinwiddie. They have a pretty good team. Uh, they did manage to take one from us. And we go, no, 3-2. Okay, let's go. They're going to force a Game 7, are they? I don't like the sound of that. Game 7 in Washington. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, we've taken the lead. We, ha we haven't taken it, we've kept the lead. It's now really close and I'm gonna jump in with a minute 45 left at 104 apiece. Oh no, <laughs> I just realized who we got in. We got Isaiah Thomas, defensive liability, but we're gonna control him and watch him to watch us turn him into a, a defensive beast. Beast de on defense, hey, 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 hey. Um, yeah, that thanks. Yeah, that works. That, that definitely works, that's okay. I don't know why 2K made me switch there. Why are our starters not all in? Like, come on. Isaiah, you got an A plus from three, lad. Uh, I don't care too much. We've got Mitchell Robinson on us. So can we just take a couple steps back and just pull up? And uh, I was expecting that to go in, you know, Clay Thompson range. But you know what? It's all right. It's okay. This is game. I just realized this is game seven. We cannot fuck around here, boys. We cannot mess around. Come give us a screen up here, Taj, my guy. Come give us a screen. Yep. Um, this is Clay Thompson range for sure. What? As if that would clink, bro. Defense. Yeah, good D, good D, good D, good D, good D, good D. Clay Thompson on the perimeter. Surely that goes in. Thank you. We finally hit a three. It's now two possession, two point game, not two possession, two point game again. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. We needed to hit that shot. We really needed to hit that shot. Otherwise, we would have been stuffed. Defense wasn't there. Four points is the margin. We have to hit a three here just to, you know, make it somewhat competitive for us, you know? We have to hit this one. Please, Clay. Clay, bro. What are you doing? Yeah, all right. We're just going to foul them until they go to the free throw line. Awesome. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Yep, great. Great. Five points. Is it five points? Yeah, it's five points. Uh, make that six, I reckon. Oh, no, he, they miss. Chuck it out there. Chuck it to Clay Thompson, who can chuck it to D'Angelo Russell. Please go out to the perimeter, Clay. You need to hit that, buddy. You need to hit... Oh, my God, he hit that. He bloody hit that. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, foul, foul, foul. Two points. If they hit it, it's going to be four points. Oh, it's Dinwiddie. He's not going to miss a free throw, lad. He's not going to miss a free... He missed a free throw. He missed a free throw. Can he miss two in a row? He, he misses two in a row. Call timeout, 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 timeout. We have 13 seconds to drop a play. If we can hit a three, we've won it, but I think I might go for the two and try and go to OT. Can we set something up here for the team, for the team, for the team? Um, we might just take the easy two. We'll just take the easy two real quick. I don't know why I scored so quickly, but easy two. Um, try not to give away the points, hey? Try not to give away some easy two-pointers. That's 
Oh, they pulled up a three. Long three. Now we're going overtime, boys. So, um, we're not going to be playing for this unless it's clo- Oh, I just went to Simcast Live, didn't I? Whoops. Um, if we just go to Simcast then, uh, that would be lovely. We're going to jump in and then we're going to go into Simcast. Go to Simcast here. Um, we're not going to jump in unless it's close. Oh, no. It's close again for two minutes. Sure, why not? Why is Isaiah Thomas in again? I don't get why they... What's their fascination with putting Isaiah Thomas in every single time? Andre Drummond, get out the paint, buddy. Can we uh, maybe get some space? Oh, that's a green two. That's a green two. Okay, okay, okay. Four points. Let's keep going. Let's keep playing defense. Let's keep playing defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun scoring on me, money. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Huh, huh, huh. Have fun scoring on me. Yeah, you're gonna have a shot clock violation here soon. They go to Dinwiddie, who pulls up and misses. Okay, yep, there we go. That's gonna basically be game, I reckon. Chuck it up to John Collins here. Ooh, ooh six points. Mmm. I mean, we're up by six points. I think that's game. I think we've just won the NBA Finals, lads. Yeah, 40 seconds left. They did just hit a two, um, but I think we should be okay. You know what? I'm just gonna pull that. That's green. That was green too. Yeah, that's dagger. That's the dagger, lads. Dagger. Yeah, that's game over. So basically, we just got to play some defense and we've got the dub. I mean, I think no matter what they do, we've got the dub anyway. So, you know what? They can they can shoot that shot. That's not going to go in ever. And we've basically just won. We've just won the game. You know what? Shuck it. Let's just chuck it up for banter. <laughs> I saw Andrew Wiggins try and grab that too. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, good defense, d -Lo. Good defense, laddie. Good defense, laddie. We'll chuck it to Wiggs out here on the perimeter. Um, chuck it back to Clay with... Oh, my goodness. What's Why controller went freaking crazy, but that's because we just won the NBA championship. Let's go. So how about it? A non-bubble team wins the NBA championship, and Andre Drummond wins finals MVP. God damn, I didn't expect to see that in my lifetime. But here's the team we put together. Everyone here is not in the bubble. If anyone would like to fact check me, be sure to leave me let me know down in the comments. I will quite happily, uh, you know, read through them and be proven wrong. But that's going to do it for today's video, lads. Hopefully you guys all have enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, just like I said at the beginning of the video. If you've made it this far, though, please be sure to subscribe. I post videos like this every single day, so be sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers, and we could really use your help. But that's going to do it, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.